What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're back in this week with another video for you. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to build this robot. This is the auto robot. You can buy the kit online. And if you don't have the 3D printed parts or the 3D printer to print the parts, then you can visit our Gmail account. It's going to be in the description below, the first link. And you can just email us what parts you need. And I'll show you how to build it. Now it's time for me to explain everything we have over here in order. From all the different types of wires to the different screws, to the 3D printed parts. Let's get started. Here are the 3D printed parts. Over here we have the head of our robot. The ultrasonic sensor goes inside of these two circles and at the side you can see these two hinges. On the body you can see that there's two little indents over here. That's where this thing snaps right on. If it's really well because it's all 3D printed and it's quite precise. These are the feet of the robot. They fit in like this right over here. This is the last piece. It's the foot of the robot and the pieces gets connected in like this. So here we have all the different type of wires. These two wires are kind of the same thing, except these wires have a little, these two wires are tied up because they don't have to extend that far. They just have to connect on like this. We have wires over here because we're gonna be prototyping on a breadboard. We're not going to be using a custom made PCB or anything like that. So you'll need four of these, two for the GND and two for the five volts. I'll explain how you connect those later. You'll need 12 of these wires. These are really small wires because they connect onto the servo motor to the breadboard. You'll need 12 of them. These are the last two wires. They're really long because you have to connect the battery from the top of the robot to the breadboard. I'm going to be using four 9 gram servos with plastic gears. If you use the ones with metal gears, they're a bit bigger and they won't fit properly. Here we have the ultrasonic sensor. I have the wires extended already. They're quite easy. I'll explain all the wiring after we're done assembling most of the robot. Every time you buy a servo motor, it comes with these screws. Each servo motor comes with three screws. Two long ones and one small one. You'll be needing a assortment of screws. I'll show you those as well. And of course the last two things are going to be the Arduino Nano and the breadboard. The Arduino Nano we have it here is pre-soldered. Most of the Nanos that you buy online come soldered so that shouldn't really be much of a problem. So we're going to start off by putting the first two servos in here. You can see that there's four holes, two on either side because that's where the two screws go into. We'll be using four of these long screws and two of these smaller ones and we'll be using these two servo motors. So here we have our two servo motors put in with four screws. Two on either side, I showed you that earlier. Now it's time to put the legs onto it. This is how it's going to look after we're done. They're going to be connected on by these pieces. They're going to slide in over here and I'm going to push them down and screw them in. This is how we connect these ones on. They're screwed in and now the next servo motor comes in over here like this. And this one comes over here like this. There's two little screws over here that I have to screw in. And right now it doesn't look so good because I didn't really push in properly. We'll use these two longer screws to screw them in. This is the third last part screwed on. The two servo motors, the screws go towards the inside, you can't really see them too well. There's a little hole over here so you can thread your uh, screwdriver through here and screw them in. And now it's time to put the feet on. The feet will go on like this. One will come here and the other one will come here. And this is pretty much all the all the important parts of the robot connected together. The last part's really easy, you just kind of snap it in over here. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do all the wiring, upload this code, see if it works and then I'm going to put the top part on. We extended the wires with the same colors. Yellow is yellow, orange is red, and black is pretty much brown. So now let's put in all the wiring, but before I do that, there's another smaller thing I have to do over here. This is pin over here called the GND. It connects from here. You put one black wire, and you connect it right over here next to it. And this is the blue wire, which is also going to be connected in the second circle of the GND right above it. And this one's going to be connected right over here. It's a bit hard for you to see. We'll zoom the camera in for you guys right there so you should have at least five squares in front of the other ones that are open so there's four over here and one over here four plus one is five so that means you can take four of these gnds and one from the ultrasonic sensor and you do the same thing with the 5v and like two squares next to the gnd there's going to be this 5v pin and you do the same thing on this side connect one over here and then this one over here in the square in front of it, extended right over here. So that's the wiring for the breadboard. The next step is to put all the orange wires on the orange pins over here, on, on all the black wires on the black and blue wires over here. And the yellow wires, I'll explain that to you in a bit. Now you connect this servo motor's yellow wire onto digital pin number two, which is right here. Digital pin number two, there. And you connect this bottom servo yellow wire onto digital pin number three. This, this wire goes onto digital pin number 4, the yellow wire on that servo motor goes on digital pin number 4, and then this one goes onto digital pin number 5. And now it's time to connect the ultrasonic sensor. I'll do that later, after I'm done the code. The next step is to connect the ultrasonic sensor. My ultrasonic sensor already had the wires glued onto it, so I'll be showing you guys on this ultrasonic sensor. The GND goes onto the GND. I showed you guys that there was one extra GND square on the 
breadboard. The VCC is the 5V. There's two extra squares on the 5V area on the breadboard. You connect this onto one of them. The trig pin goes onto digital pin number 7 and the eco pin goes onto digital pin number 6. There will be two codes in the description. One will be for this robot that I made and the second code will be for the, the auto DIY robots. So the second code, you will have to download a lot of libraries. The code that I wrote for this one, for my origin, is really simple to use and also very easy to modify with some basic background knowledge of coding. Here is our robot and here is the battery. Now if you're using a battery that's too big then you can tape it on the top or on the back. I'm going to be taping on the top. And yeah, now I'll show you guys how it works.